All right, let's bring Robert back in for another check of the forecast. Mm -hmm. So, Robert, that cold, frigid, miserable weather we had is gone, and we can expect a warm-up, right? Yes, we do have one more really cold morning coming up, which we'll talk about here. But, yeah, big warm-up is on the way. Uh, we're going to add – it's going to be like 60 degrees warmer than it was last Friday. And that's what we're going to talk about here in our headlines. You can see we will see a little bit of wintry weather uh, for some of us in the overnight hours tonight. We'll have one more super cold morning, Tuesday morning, uh, and then that starts that moderating trend, which will continue as we go through the rest of the week. It'll be milder, and unfortunately, the possibility it will also be wetter uh, by the time we, that we get to the end of the week. Now, we are watching this system, this clipper system, that's diving south. This is the moisture out ahead of it that will be moving through our area, bringing us a mix of snow, sleet, freezing rain, and maybe just plain rain. And because of that, just to our north, we do have winter weather advisories uh, that have been issued by the National Weather Service through 6 a.m. So if you're traveling north tomorrow, could be slick spots. I'm waiting to see if the Weather Service out of Tulsa extends those into our area. They haven't yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if they do. Temperatures right now, mid-30s across northwest Arkansas, really not that bad. Uh, River Valley, we're in the lower 40s right now, and a few upper 30s right along the Interstate 40 uh, corridor for your neighborhood. Now, as we go through the rest of the night, no problems tonight. If you're heading to family member's house, maybe you're going to or from grandma's house, no problems, at least through midnight. Now, once we get on the other side of midnight, here comes that uh, piece of energy out ahead of the cold front. You see by 1 a.m., widespread, maybe some light sleet, light freezing rain, light snow, all mixed in there, maybe some plain rain right on the leading edge of it. This will be weakening as it moves through, so a little bit more hit or miss of that variety by, uh, from Monday morning. It's Like I said, it's out ahead of the front. The front moves through mid to late morning, and behind the front, Temperatures will fall so from about lunch tomorrow through the rest of the day. Temperatures will really be fall. Look at temperatures by five o'clock in the evening. Mid teens, a very cold Monday night and a very cold start to our Tuesday. A few places will probably dip into the single digits. Upper teens and lower 20s uh, for the River Valley before that warm up begins. Maybe a hundredth of an inch of freezing rain here, but that's enough to kind of grease and up the roads a little bit. Bridges, overpasses, elevated surfaces. So if you're out early before sunrise tomorrow, keep that in mind. 20s tonight, and these numbers for our highs will be reached early in the day, especially, like I said, after the lunch hour, temperatures will start to fall, especially across northwest Arkansas. We're saying it'll be around 10 Tuesday morning, but look how quickly we warm up. We're into the 40s by Tuesday afternoon, 50s by Wednesday, 60s by Thursday, and then we watch more of that rain that rolls in here. It doesn't look too bad next weekend. As we say goodbye to 2022 and say hello to 2023 Saturday night and uh, into Sunday, Phil. But yeah, I mean, for places that were five or six degrees Friday, that'll be 67 on Thursday. I think no complaints there.